Hello, welcome to my tech fam. My name is Igor and a few weeks ago I did a review of the Ortur Alpha 2 laser engraver and the long focus module arrived with this air assist nozzle. Since I didn't have the compressor I tested with the vacuum cleaner and then I got several comments that they suggest me to use uh, aquarium or fish tank uh, air pump. So I got one for the Banggood and uh, this has the power of uh, 45 watts the flow rate is 70 liters per minute the pressure it can make is 0.02 megapascals that's 0.2 bars or uh, let's say if you want to press it into water it will go down into uh, 2 meters deep the air of course the flow rate depends on the pressure so that's why on the side we have this graph but uh, anyway uh, with the vacuum cleaner I got very interesting results uh, actually for the engraving it didn't improve, it was even worse the engraving uh, of the plywood but the cutting was much better. Maybe that's not co coincidence that it arrives only with the long focus uh, module which is designed for the cutting uh, and not for the short focus module which is better for the engraving. So uh, I will test it uh, again, I want to see if this uh, aquarium air pump is good uh, for these purposes and of course I will test the engraving too and uh, then the cutting. Let's see what's in the box. User manual. Plastic part to split the air into hmm, six directions. And this is the main unit. Ah, and this is not the correct plug. Ah, but I can see adapter. Okay. And this is the main unit, ACO318. There is a small piece of pipe and this uh, brass, uh, probably here I can attach this pipe here. That's it. I cannot see a switch on it, so probably when I turn it on to AC power, it will start with the working. So I have uh, this uh, AC extender and with this switch. Okay, first impression, it is not too loud, uh, but definitely I have to use these holes uh, to fix it permanently because as you saw from the vibration it works on the desk. Okay, this is just a temporary solution. And before I start with the engraving and cutting, first I want to check the airflow, compare it with this uh, vacuum cleaner. This pipe is attached to the back side of the vacuum cleaner. I have this bottle with water and this is just for reference. And now air from the vacuum cleaner and this pipe will be on the top of this bottle. The air goes down approximately 26 millimeters. I'm not sure what type of the thread is this because the thread on adapter which arrived with Alpha is bigger. The outer diameter is 0.306 inches or 7.77 millimeters. So anyway, I have to use this somehow. But I will uh, place this pipe, this arrive with this compressor and I will try to insert here this smaller pipe. I think it is uh, exactly like the inner diameter of this bigger pipe. Mm -hmm. Not perfect solution, but it will do the job. Just in case. And now the air from this new air compressor. This time the air goes down approximately 14 millimeters. So it looks weaker, but I think that will be enough. I will measure the noise from 30 centimeters distance. And first I will measure where the, this uh, pipe is on it, because I notice it is much quieter now. That was 66 decibels. <laughs> and 
and now it's 82 decibels, so that's very loud. But I think it is time to do some engraving. So first I'm starting with engraving a logo. Setting the focus of the plywood surface. And basically I got the same results as, as with the vacuum cleaner. Uh, here this, these two are uh, without uh, air assist and this is with air assist. Uh, only here from the other side I cut this square out. I didn't know that I have some engraving here. But basically as you can see the, with the air assist uh, the engraving is uh, uglier. I have more smoke around the lines. And now I'll do some cutting. So this is what I got uh, without air and this is with air assist but with a vacuum cleaner. And uh, let's see here what can we do with this uh, air compressor. When I do some cutting I always like to lift the object a little bit so I can see the beam on the other side. But this is only 3mm plywood so the cutting shouldn't be the problem for this module. 100mm per minute full power without air assist. So again I got much nicer cutting, this is with vacuum cleaner and this is with this new air compressor and these two are without air. Uh, maybe the difference is not so visible on this side but if I turn it on the other side Here I can see significant differences, so this is with air assist and this is without air assist, much cleaner cutting without burn edges. And these are pieces which are cut out. One side and the other side. Another conclusions. Well, yes, I can confirm that this uh, aquarium air pump works. So thank you all for those tips in uh, comments I got when I did the review of this Alpha Row 2 laser engraver. Uh, about exactly this uh, air pump, uh, it's good, uh, better than the vacuum cleaner because it's much smaller and quieter and actually the vacuum cleaner don't like to work uh, too much without big airflow because it is used for cleaning the motor. Uh, here I am missing some kind of switch. Of course this is designed to be aquarium air pump uh, but for us yes definitely it would be good to have some kind of uh, switch and uh, yes definitely you should somehow fix it because from the vibration it works. Uh, it would be good to know what thread is this because it it's better, better if I would uh, connect this uh, pipe directly, but uh, this solution works too. What I didn't like here definitely that's this uh, adapter solution because this is AC power. I'm sure that could be some better solutions too, maybe using this kind of cord, but maybe this is designed to be outside, I'm not sure about this. Uh, but anyway, it works, so uh, yes, and again, I can confirm that it works for cutting only. For engraving, you will get worse results. If you have some additional experience, uh, you know, write me a line in a comment. Thank you for watching and happy engraving.